Hey guys, it is Saressa Freeman again. So I'm about to go out to eat and go see Avengers for the third time. If you follow me on Instagram, you would see that I spoke about my recent uh, breakout and basically have a lot of dark marks and I have my texture issues again. But that's not gonna stop me from wearing makeup and doing my thing. So I'm gonna show you guys how I just quickly get ready and how I cover these dark marks after a rough breakout. So let's get started. So first up, of course, you gotta moisturize those lips. I use Burt's Bees. This is like the vanilla bean flavor. I love it so much. Let me put this in my pocket so I don't leave it. So next up, I really make sure that I moisturize my face. So I use Smashbox's primerizer. I make sure I primerize my face. Let's get this to going. So I put a pretty hefty amount on the side um, cause I'm really trying to protect my skin. But I also want to be slayed at the same time. So I have some, you see this over here too? Oh my god, yikes. I'm breaking out. I'm breaking out. Um, but you guys can even see on this side I have texture, texture up here, texture over there. But it's okay, we're gonna figure this out. Then next up I'm putting a hefty amount of this Smashbox Photo Finish on that cheek putting like a dash a dash up there this is my favorite primer in the world but i put a hefty amount on this side because again i want to protect this face you see how that face kind of how this side kind of like you know smoothed out a little bit so the primerizer which is the primer and moisturizer serum that i just used and then i went ahead and used the smooth and blur photo finish primer from them as well too next up foundation i use the cover effects i've been using this for about a year now so I'm just gonna put some over here and remember this is not like a crazy full face this is just a quick get ready guys remember I'm not a makeup guru at all you guys are probably like oh my gosh she's putting this all over her face but guys you know why I'm kind of rushing because I'm gonna be late <laughs> for Avengers and for this lunch so I think this is a really good opportunity to show you guys how fast my makeup routine can work and do you guys see I look like a brand new woman do you, I look like a brand new woman look at how fast and did you see how much I just put on my face so that's just a nice average amount that I put on my face I don't really like beauty blenders because I just feel like it holds like a lot of dirt like putting the water the moisture on it putting the, the setting spray on it and it's just sitting like with moisture I just get really skeptical with the beauty blenders and I have used beauty blenders in the past but not consistently so yeah so you guys see how that makeup pretty much covered a good amount of my skin this looks really good okay so since my skin is breaking out and stuff I try not to put as much makeup so so far you saw the moisturizer the primer the chapstick and the foundation so I'm not gonna put on a concealer because my skin is breaking out and everything so I don't want to overdo the makeup so next up what I will be doing is a little bit of eyebrow action up I use Anastasia's brow promade I mean who doesn't use this stuff it lasts forever and I'm just going to use the camera to just give my brows a little bit of feel. You see, already I got a little bit of feel. I'm just going out to eat and go to the movies, so I'm not going to really do much, you know, over here in the section. But I just don't want to go out there with my eyebrows looking like, hey. But I just feel like you guys don't need to do much with your brows anymore, you know? Like, Beyonce doesn't even do much with her brows and you guys know I'm obsessed with Beyonce so take a look at some of Beyonce's latest pictures and you see the zoom in of her eyebrows and when you guys go look I want you guys to comment under this video and be like I looked at Beyonce's brows you see her brows is barely like they barely put anything on her brows I mean my brows of course don't look like Beyonce's but you know it's not much and you see how I just nicely filled this in her brows are filled in like her brows are not like that cut you know angle that everyone has been doing for decades it's very natural so this is my excuse of my trifling brows beyonce doesn't have trifling brows but she doesn't angle sharp sharpen okay 
so after my trifling brows i put on the elf wax stick a little bit to keep these trifling brows staying i got this at the ulta conference like two years ago and i got like three of them and it's really nice because it keeps your eyebrows like in place all day until forever so after brows foundation i use the fit me by maybelline their loose finishing powder y'all if y'all don't use finishing powder i don't know what y'all doing but i'm gonna show you how my face is gonna look like a barbie doll afterwards well partially like a barbie doll because you know i have texture all over but watch how this watch how this works magic for my skin i'm just gonna put it on one side so you guys can see how it makes my skin like not shiny and like super plain so look at the difference do you guys see this difference it's like pores and like you know a little a little bit better on that side you know i think finishing powder is like the best thing of it ever but i just pat this around you know pat it around all over the place and this is like my quick quick lunch quick movie theater type face if i really want to put on makeup i haven't worn makeup in a long time and in the past i used to feel bad putting on makeup with all of my dark marks and bumps and stuff like that but i like makeup and i'm gonna put it on even if i have a few active bumps so if you feel some type of way about putting on makeup over your bumps and feeling some type of way about wearing makeup with all of this shine baby shine wear your makeup with your bumps still be popping because I'm I'm doing it. After all of that, I go ahead, use a quick setting spray. I like Glam Glow <laughs> Primer. I love Urban Decay's uh, primer spray. I love Smashbox, and I also love LA Girls. You know, I received this at the Ulta conference like two years ago, and I've been a customer of them ever since because I think it works, and it's really good, too, for my skin. After that spray, if you want to add a little highlighter, you know, because highlighter doesn't hurt, shine bright like a diamond guess what type of highlighter this is it is fenty baby shine bright like a diamond <laughs> and then i'm gonna finish it with better than sex by Too faced i was a vendor at the boxy charm galentine's event in miami and they were so kind to me because i own a sunglasses business so i was like there and they gave me and like the person that i brought a, a boxy charm box and then the box it had this and i've actually never used this mascara in my life i'm super cheap super budget queen so the fact that i got this found uh this mascara for free was a ching poppy okay last but not least i'm going to just put a little bit of this sephora lip gloss y'all if y'all been sleeping on sephora lip gloss shame on you it's like seven or eight dollars and this is like a brown tint i love a brown tint on my skin and, it's, and this is my face. This is my face. This is my face with my thumbs. With my thumbs. And I don't care because I love makeup. I love makeup. I'm kind of really happy. Because I think I look good. So if you guys didn't know, I wear wigs and stuff. I have natural 4C hair. If you guys would like me to show you my collection of wigs <laughs> and how I prepare them. I get them made, but like after I get them made, I pretty much manage it. So this is my wig. I've had this baby for two years now. I freaking love her. So this is how the front is. Pretty amazing, right? <laughs> I have natural hair, like 4C. So it's like really tough to deal with, but this is my wig. Her name is Sasha, named after the Sasha Fierce, Beyonce, of course. And I just, you know, combed it out a little. I'm not going to straighten it or anything because it has like a nice wave to it. But yeah, this is my get ready with me. I know other people probably like do a little bit more, but this is how I get a little snazzy. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And this is how I get, you know, ready and stuff. And these are my bumps my active acne and i just i still feel beautiful i don't feel less beautiful with my bumps and i've just really grown to not even care if people are staring or if people are looking at my texture and stuff i really don't care so when i do wear makeup 
it's all good and when I don't wear makeup and people stare it's still all good so I really hope you guys enjoy this video please drop your questions below if you guys if you guys have any questions about like what type of makeup I use or anything else I use or to, for me to refer you to something else let me know I have oily and sensitive skin so if you think you have that skin type shoot me shoot me shoot me a message below or a comment I hope you guys enjoyed this and have a great weekend have a great day and all of that.